Afternoon all, Chief Prepper here. I'm uh, hired help has gone home for the day. We uh, finagled the riding lawnmower, got it running. Uh, internet and Google search is an awesome tool. Watch the video, show me how to check something. I did it, man, so I know what's wrong with it, but I got it running twice. First time I got it running, and then I went in the house and ordered the part. And then the second time I came out and I mowed the backyard. Uh, uh, the hired help was busy out front. Probably tomorrow I will, uh, what do you call it? I will uh, show you what he's been doing out there. Basically, he's dug 56 feet of about four inch deep trench with a pickaxe and uh, the reason for that is right now I have three extension cords going across that 56 foot section of the yard uh, that I have to pull up uh, before the hired help mows the grass because I don't want them cutting up the cords so uh, this is an example of priorities changing you know during the winter time when I wasn't mowing grass uh, Sticking around with the cord, so to speak, wasn't a real big issue. But now that it's summertime or springtime, summertime, we're, we're, we're mowing grass down here a lot. It probably would have been a bigger issue, but my riding lawnmower went down last October. And uh, I worked on it, worked on it, worked on it, and then basically said, fuck it, because I wasn't going to need it for a while. And then it was running the whole time, but it wouldn't steer. So in the last week, I've me and the hired help have gotten the fuck after that and that is resolved the steering is like a dream now uh got a front left tire that goes flat all the time so i'll, I'll have to spend some more money on that but the part is inbound basically the starter solenoid uh 13 dollar part 10 dollars shipping so but it'll be here later this week and then basically because i really still can't do much and then the hired help has got limited hours so uh, I have to kind of rearrange projects so in two weeks I should be six weeks post recovery and then most of my restrictions will be lifted and then I can get busy uh, hopefully the rain will have subsided by then because right now we have a 20% chance of rain uh, starting today for the rest of the week and it gets Thursday Friday goes up quite a bit so the good part about that is that uh, I don't have to water the garden so I probably lost some tomatoes because I didn't pick them but I did show you that trick and it was just because I was just lazy uh, me and I hired help worked on the fucking Pontiac on Saturday and uh, I did a little too much my eye was fucking hurting so I didn't do shit on Sunday um, and then yesterday was a, a recovery day as well so you know, when you have surgery, you got to be careful overdoing it. And then, uh, so tomorrow I'll do a video, a quick video, show you the with the trench I'm talking about. I got to get roughly 56 feet of conduit, which is probably five pieces. Uh, then get some ends to angle it up, a termination box on one end, and then uh, probably just a, an angle over. Uh, Keep the water out of it uh, glue everything together run the wire through it and terminate it at one end and terminate it at the other end and then basically cover the trench and then now that chore is gone uh, the reason i have that is i have a one-ton truck and a one-ton van the van i use for hunting uh, and trips because i stay in KOAs instead of staying in hotels less exposure to stuff Plus, I like uh, I like being in a KOA because I can, you know, sit out by a fire if I want. Uh, then I use the van for hunting because uh, it's way better sleeping in the back of it than sleeping on the ground. And then the truck for truck shit, you know. We, uh, the truck is, I still got some stuff I got to do on it, but, you know, long list of things to do, not enough time, sometimes not motivated, so is what it is the truck needs the back two windows taken apart uh, the door jams taken apart seeing if it's the motors if it's the motor order the motor replace the motor and then 
the last of that truck shit should be done, so other than getting the windows retinted, so it's been a four year journey on that truck, but I'm very happy with it because it's not a primary vehicle. It's in good working order for a nineteen ninety six one ton dually, it's only got a hundred and like fifty seven or fifty eight thousand miles on it, so you know. A lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort, but you no, know, really don't want to drive around in a $90,000 truck every day, especially here in San Antonio. These these MFers, boy, they don't know how to drive for shit, and uh, they're awful. They're awful. So anyway, information is knowledge and power. Chief Prepper out.